Welcome to Prefrontal Cortex. Now I will discuss about heart sound S1, S2, S3 and S4. So you know that due to closure of AV valve, fast heart sound is produced. Fast heart sound is produced due to closure of AV valve that is tricuspid valve and mitral valve. And this is heart, this is right atria, this is left atria, this is right ventricle and this is left ventricle. Now few factors about S1 that is fast heart sound. Intensity of the S1 that may be soft or loud and it actually depends on condition of AV valve. So soft S1 will produce when they will fail to strike each other that is in cases of mitral regurgitation that means returning of blood to the left atria and tricuspid regurgitation returning to the blood to the right atria there the valve will be so much pathological that they will fail to strike each other. So this will cause soft S1. Next, pressure of presence of fat or fluid. That means if patient is obese in nature that will decrease intensity of this sound so S1 will be soft and another is there is any pathology around pericardium that means pericardial effusion is there that will also decrease intensity of S1 and if there is increased muscle mass increased muscle mass in ventricle due to right ventricular or left ventricular hypertrophy that will also decrease intensity of fast heart sound. In case of emphysema, where there is excess air in lung, intensity will decrease. And also if force of ventricular contraction is weak, in case of dilated cardiomyopathy and ventricular dysfunction, S1 intensity will decrease. And lastly, most important factor is position of AV valve. If impulse reaches ventricle slowly, ventricular blood filling almost complete. So ventricular blood filling will be almost complete. And when ventricular blood filling is almost complete, leaflet pushed in closed position. So this gap is so less that it will not produce much thrust and S1 sound will be soft. So the reason is impulse reaching ventricle slowly. So what are the conditions? First is bradycardia and another thing is prolonged PR interval, prolonged PR interval. If atrial blood moves slowly into ventricle that means mitral stenosis and tricuspid stenosis and 
all this thing will be reverse that means intensity of s1 will be loud in cases of vice versa that mean in tachycardia impulse reaches ventricle first so blood filling is incomplete as blood filling is incomplete so this valve will be in this fashion in the chamber so blood filling is incomplete as there is tachycardia and time of blood filling is very less so valve will be distant from each other and when they close they will feel produce a big thrust and that will increase the intensity of heart sound so this is the basic thing about intensity of heart sound so i have discussed about fast heart sound and related to its intensity when it will be soft and when it will be loud and also about what is the physiology behind producing fast heart sound please watch the part two video to understand about second heart sound hope you have liked this video please subscribe my channel prefrontal cortex and press this bell icon to stay updated Thank you.